Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and you are looking at um, the dry result of a painting that's been hanging around in my studio for some weeks now, to say the least. And I don't like it. I mean, I like it okay, but I don't love it and I'd like to love it. And I think that what I want to do is use it as an experiment and what I'm willing to do is take some of my acetate cards, here I have a few over here, and see what happens when I pull some paint across. I also seem to have some splatters. Anyway, so being that these paints are sheer, I kind of think that they might work. I used to do watercolors, and I kind of really want to just play with what happens with these paints. And I think I'm going to give myself permission to turn this around. Sorry, you guys. And uh, I'm not going to use a lot of paint, I'm just going to use a little, and I'm going to try and just move it around with my card, just enough to see what happens. I'm really not going to use much, and I am going to use a clean spot when it comes to um, playing with the purple and the orange, because I will make a, a brown I don't want. Also, I'm not afraid of my finger. so. I might just uh, use that a couple times. Yes, I see you. And it's this is all light. I think what happened was that I used the uh, the basting brush to try and spread the paint, and it did not uh, did not work. Okay, so I keep promising you guys I'm going to show you some, my new paint, and this is the um, the art the art mines DIY now rapid. This particular color is a purple zeist. Multi-surface, multi-surface, neon acrylic paint, and I added the golden iridescent medium to it. Because I like to have my paints be iridescent. What can I say? It seems like a natural progression. Um, let me move that over there a little bit. But I know that this is somewhat sheer, and I just want this to be fabulous. <laughs> it's not asking too much, is it? And if I have a few white striations afterwards, I'm okay. But in the meantime, I'm just enjoying the color changes that I'm getting, and I'm going to keep playing with the color changes. This is a magenta, and I never just give myself permission to use, or I seldom use magenta, um, just as a, a colorful alternative. And I better be quick, because once something dries in the heat out here, it's not going to be easy to bring it back to someplace I want. Maybe a little spray water would help. I wonder if that's water or alcohol. That's alcohol. Do I dare? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just make sure we don't make a mistake. Yes, I'm using my hands is not normal in this kind of capacity, but um, I don't think I'm going to really do this any harm, to tell you the truth. It depends on how badly I dislike the uh, hard edges on my, on my cloud areas. And clean cards might be a really helpful thing just because you won't get any of the little striations that I'm getting. But uh, I'm still enjoying what I'm doing, so I'm not stopping. It might be, you know, a whole new avenue of exploration, <laughs> which is my, uh, I don't know, that's my fun zone. That's the neon pink from Folk Art with Deco Art Pouring Medium and GAC 800 and Floetrol all mixed in. I kind of wonder if I could get away with the white pearl. I just, I want to lose those striations from the basting brush and it's, it's, it seems like it's working. And I'm not minding the um, alternative colors I'm getting either. but I am having to pay attention to making the marks disappear 
and not leaving too much of a hard edge. I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission to get down and get funky right down here. Let's see what happens when I use that yellow. I'm nervous about that yellow. But I think I've kind of wanted some of that yellow for a while now. I might have to be smart and uh, take my damp rag and clean the yellow off of my cloud if I don't want it on my cloud. Too late over here and now I have green. Well, maybe it's fresh enough to get some off. Or, maybe, a little alcohol might remove it. You can never tell. Nope, still not working. Alright, so that's going to be a purple cloud in a minute. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I've got some... Let's see. I think I have another one of those colors. I'm just not sure what it's called, and I will eventually let you know. What color is on here? Nothing. Cool. Oh yeah, no, I like that. I do the yeah, no thing because I live with a Frenchman. Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> Franco-American from Maine. But he's a lot of fun. So, I want a clean card, or a clean card edge. And I want to see what that looks like. That's not clean. <laughs> I want to take whatever's on my card and put it in the next logical place. I'm still enjoying that sky. I want some blue, but I'm a little nervous about how dark it might be against the bottom edge. I don't think that I can get away with that turquoise, but you know what? I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Is it going to open? It's not going to let much out, but I don't think I mind right now. So I think it's just going to add a little bit of something, something that I want. But I might just... Yeah. I might fix that cloud with it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, the purple at hand, since I said I was going to do that. I'm going to take my, the corner of my card. Kind of like that. Let's give the clouds purple bottoms and things. Yep, I'm getting frisky now. Put some of that right over the edge and then find it again and go a little crazy. Short trip. I think it's um, par for the course that you can see a little bit of canvas there. And I can see a few other striations in the marks in the canvas. But I'm still really liking what I'm getting. So no matter what it is, if it's an improvement for me, I'm going to be happy. That's a nice red-orange. I've dried my card off. long as you can catch it while it's wet, you can still manipulate it. I like that down there, but I want some other stuff with it. Do I want some? Whoa. Okay. I got my wish. Better be careful. Better be quick. I don't mind that my clouds are becoming kind of purpley. That's actually <laughs> still an improvement, in my opinion. I like sky drama, what can I say? So the, the whole trick to this is getting to it quickly. I wanted to know for a long time now what the overlay what it would be like to overlay the purple and other things. And I guess I'm finding out you can layer things if you're quick. It's not something you're going to be waiting to do. You don't put the paint on and wait. You put the paint on and pull it. I want to try some yellow up there. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm going to find out in a second.
It's still giving me a nice effect, and I like it more than I liked it before. Not sure about that, but that's okay. It's got to be all kinds of ways to use fluid art that I don't know about fluid acrylics, acrylics mixed with pouring medium, but um, I'm bound and determined to find out what a lot of them are because uh, I, I'm not the sort of person who want, likes to be limited, and I don't think many of you are, <laughs> honestly. Okay, I'm just going to use that right there, and continue, ooh, yeah, I want that, left and right handed. Brazen. I love the overlay effect. Somebody asked me the other day while I was in Dunedin at a little shop called um, The Pharmacy? The Apothecary? Boy, I can't remember. I emailed them. They didn't get back to me. But in any case, I'm sure I'll see them again sometime because Dunedin's pretty cool. I want more of that. I forgot what I was talking about. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I get to looking at my painting and I get distracted. So I'm just putting colors where I want them. Seems like a good theory to me. And I like the other colors showing through. I don't like that green. So I am going to just indulge my purple cloud fantasy. Because I can. Ooh, that's the name of my book on the Amazon link below the video. Where you can find, also find, the OXO omelet turning spatula. The, paint, the miraculous paint spreading spatula. Which has now begun to appear below... What's that? Um, the areas where you see crafts. When you look at anybody's Amazon page, which is pretty cool. I like that. I think I'm going to be brazen again do it some more. And then let some of it go down over the edge. I don't want any hard lines, but whoops, that's not what I expected. Okay. It's probably a good alternative anyway. I think it is. I'm going to have to take a minute, in a minute, and step back and decide what I might want to do to the top of this and if there's anything I want to do to the bottom. And I think the bottom might just get a dose of uh, my gunmetal Anita's Black Metallic. I want some of this up here. That makes me a lot happier. And I'm probably going to smear some of that right across the top with my finger just to match things up. Well, I don't know what you think. I think I want a little bit something else, more contrast here and there. You have to be willing to accept that you might get something you're not super thrilled with and be quick about changing it. I want some more of that purple up there and then I'm going to go, because I've used most of my 20 minutes, believe it or not. Wow. Well, actually, I only set the timer for 17 because I want to be able to tell you guys that I have uh, curios on my Facebook pages and that you can shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you for... Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas and the gold mica powder that I usually use and stuff like that. And I haven't quite run out of time yet, which is good. I'll fix that top edge after you guys are gone. I think I want some of that right there, some of that right there. And I'm, I'm pretty pleased that this turned out the way I was hoping it would. Just laying more fluid acrylic color over the top. 
Don't forget your fingers are tools attached to your arms. <laughs> use them if you must. Actually, use them when it's convenient. Because unless you tell somebody and they have a problem with it, I can't see that there should be a problem with it. I still want some... Uh, I want a little white pearl. Can I have a little white pearl? Man, I better be quick about it, too. Put a little bit of white pearl where I want some clouds. So I'm not sure what the white will look like. Just smidgens. Just to break up the colors. Okay, maybe more than smidgens. Yeah, I like that too. Do I like that as much as I thought I did? Yeah, maybe. I'll just use the card, the color I have left on my card to change it up. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, all of that. I think I want some purple down here though, and then I'll call it good. And uh, do I want some purple up there too? <laughs> yes, dip the card in. The purple and the orange do not make brown if you have a light touch. So I don't know how useful that this was to many of you, but um, I guess I'm going to show the other videos first. I'm not sure if they're as necessary as they used to be because I like what I've just done a whole lot better. And uh, so whatever I haven't told you is uh, includes give me a thumbs up if you want to be of assistance to me. It helps the placement of my videos on YouTube. And I have wanted to add some black in the bottom of these trees for a while. And maybe... Fresh and blue, too, because I don't think that's going to hurt anything. You might just change up the, the shadowing. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for all the contributions that have kept me going in the past. If you want to join this month's um, giveaway, you get in by contributing to the studio, and the links are underneath the video and on my YouTube channel header. And uh, PayPal and Patreon are the places you're looking for. And when you find them and you have a current email address on either one of those, then if you happen to be the winner on uh, April 8th, there will be seven paintings to pick from. Yeah, I'm just firming up an edge. I wasn't a big fan of the texture down there, to tell you the truth. So, I do sell my artwork, and if you guys are interested in buying anything, just please let me know. On YouTube, I do give classes at the house. I'm hoping that and I'm not making a mistake. I got a minute left to tell you whatever else. And I think... Um, I think I'm pretty happy with all of that. I could probably put a little sun peeking through the sky somewhere up there. If I want it to be brazen, it's not coming out anyway. All right, so I think Pinterest and Instagram are findable on the bottom of my uh, description underneath the video. And I remembered to turn the painting around for you guys. I'd say that's pretty it. And this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard going, hey, I'm happy with my improvements. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again. Check out the end screens for 520 plus videos. The longer you watch, the more you help me. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.